What's up guys, Sports Snippets, Dennis Sullivan. It is late night Sunday, here to spend a few moments with you discussing the Miami Heat's Game 3 victory, 121-99 over the Milwaukee Bucks to take a 2-1 series lead in the opening round of the playoffs. If you do like the content, this particular video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe as well. Hit that notification bell to be notified of future videos. So let's get started. It was a great night if you're a Miami Heat fan. The team played about as good as you could expect or could hope. And of course, they are playing and going up against a shorthanded Milwaukee Buck team with their superstar forward out, Giannis. His status still uncertain for game four, although I am pretty confident that Giannis will in fact play in game four which will also be played in Miami interesting interesting stat in this one which just uh, really dawned on me and that is the Heat believe it or not they had nine different players with a steal I, I don't know is that some sort of record or something Butler and Bam each had two Kevin Love, Struess, Gabe Vincent had one steal each Caleb Martin and Oladipo had two each off the bench. And then you had Kyle Lowry and uh, Cody Zeller with a steal off the bench. Nine players with a steal. Unbelievable. Jimmy Butler leads the way with 30 points, five rebounds, four assists. The bench was phenomenal. The bench played fantastic. They, uh, You had uh, Caleb Martin. I mean, he had a nice all-around game. Double-double, 12 points, 11 rebounds. Plays that feisty, aggressive defense. Lowry with 15. He looked good. A steal, a block, three assists. Duncan Robinson. has a, Apparently, that it was his birthday on Saturday. Happy birthday to him because he had 20 points off the bench. Uh, Oladipo added eight. Zeller didn't play much. He would have a rebound and a steal. Haywood Highsmith had four uh, points off the bench. So I tell you what, the bench for the Miami Heat were phenomenal. They, they outplayed the Buck bench, clearly. You have Pat Connaughton, who's a good player off the Bucks bench, 11.7 rebounds. Joe Ingles had a not as effective game as he normally would, five points and a block. But you got to watch him. He's a really good three-point shooter. And you had Crowder with five. Marion Bochamp had five off the bench for them. Dra Goran Dragic, former Miami Heat Goran Dragic, had two points and an assist. The Heat were just a little quicker, it seemed, in this one. A little faster. It scored 67 points, believe it or not, in the first half. Kevin Love gets the start because, of course, we have Tyler Hero out. I like that move. Go a little bit bigger, a little bit more defensive-oriented, shall we say. 6.7 rebounds for him. Bam had a double-double, 12 and 11. You had Struess with 12. And Gabe Vincent had a quiet game, two points, two assists. But Gabe Vincent has really worked his way into that starting lineup. I mean, he's played so well down the stretch, had many big games. I think he was averaging about 15 points or so in the playoffs going in to this game. So, you know, even with the off game, shall we say, I mean, he was just quiet, really. I mean, we didn't need big scoring out of him. He's still scoring in double figures, and you got to love the improved play of the one and only. Gabe Vincent. Chris Middleton leads the way for the Bucks with 23. Five rebounds, six assists. When does Drew Holiday not play well against the Heat? Nine points, five rebounds, three assists for him. Bobby Portis, nine points, ten rebounds. Brooke Lopez was quiet. He had a block, six points, three rebounds. Grayson Allen, 14 and four for the Milwaukee Bucks as we head into a pivotal game four on Monday night. So let's talk about that for a second. So Monday night is going to be key. It's going to be in Miami. This is, a, this is a big game because if the Bucks win this game, you know, do you realize if the Bucks win game four, they reclaim home court advantage, believe it or not. I would expect Giannis at least some minutes, if not the full-blown production minutes from him, uh, it looks like they're going now every two days 
for the remainder of this series because game five will be Wednesday. Game six would be Friday. And if there is a game seven, I, that I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing. I know for a fact it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then if there is a game seven, my guess on that is that would be played on Sunday. So what do you think, everyone? I mean, the Bucks are still tremendous, only a couple years removed from an, from an NBA title. Uh, they have plenty of good players. With Giannis, obviously, they're clearly going to be favored. But the Heat, can, you know, the, the Heat are going to be in an interesting spot on Monday night. They can go up 3-1, which is hard to believe, but they could, could go up 3-1. Got to keep our fingers crossed. Um, not many other takeaways from me other than the Heat shot the ball a lot better in Game 3. They were aggressive. They certainly caused turnovers. I mean, you have nine players with at least one steal. Gotta love the, the Caleb Martin energy. Oh, and then unfortunately, Victor Oladipo's injury. So that was very unfortunate, but um, the Heat will have to move on. I wonder if Haywood Highsmith will get some time, maybe. Um, some more, t more playing time. Kyle Lowry probably gets some more minutes off the bench. Duncan as well, Duncan Robinson. So it's a big team effort. We got to hope for the best, guys. Uh, Monday, you almost think that whoever wins Monday's game is going to win the series. I, I almost am going to go that far to say that. Because if Bucks win, as I mentioned, they reclaim home court. That means that they split in Miami, just like Miami split the two games in Milwaukee. But we'll see how it goes, everyone. We'll see how it goes. Once again, the Heat looking good offensively. Score 121 points en route to a 22-point victory on Saturday night. This is Dennis Sullivan saying I will see you. Yes, you next time. We'll talk again soon, and bye for now.